Hello, just want to take you today through how we go about adding fractions where the denominators are the same. So let's have a little look at fractions. Now we're not going to use um, diagrams or pictures to help you today, okay? So let's say we've got a fraction of one quarter, okay? So we've got here, the number on the top is called the numerator. Okay, and I'm going to be using this language now, okay, to get you used to it. The number on the bottom is called the denominator denominator okay so that's your top number and your bottom number if we take uh, two fractions where the denominator is the same adding them is quite easy so for instance if you take two quarters and one quarter what we do not do we do not add the, the denominator we keep the four the same that doesn't change so we can just write that down so all we are interested in is adding the three and the sorry the two and the one to make three. Okay, so two quarters and one quarters make three quarters. Okay, so remember the denominator, the number on the bottom, does not change. Okay, only the numerator, the number on the top, changes. Okay, let's do a few more just to get used to this. So let's try this one here. Um, let's see. Let's have um, three, six, and let's try four, six. First things first, remember the denominator, the number on the bottom, the six does not change. So we can just write that down. And we look at the top. So we've got three, we've got four, three and four is seven. Okay, so we've got seven sixths. Okay. Now, if you wanted to go a step further and simplify this, we would divide the top number, 7, by the bottom number, 6, which would give us how many times is 6? Go into Sam, 1, and what's left over, we'd have remainder of 1. So what we'd have then would be, denominator is 6, that hasn't changed, but then we would have one whole one left over, we just, my rubber and a little bit of that away, have one whole one here, the one left over, the remainder becomes one six. Okay, so that's a next step. If somebody want to stretch yourselves, if you get a sum where the number on the top is greater than the number on the bottom, have a go at that. Okay, have a go at the work we've said today and see how you get on. All right, bye.